All right, hey guys, what's up? Abomination Nine here, back playing some more Xenoblade Chronicles X. We left off. Uh, we did a really quick mission where we just had to kill a few things, and uh, now we're doing another quest. Uh, there's still a couple more out there I still need to do. I need to make sure not to forget. I still need to do uh, the quests at Tatsu's home, and I still need to do the place uh, out in the desert. That random person out in the desert. But yeah, we're, but first off, we're doing this person, which we're out in front of the hangar. Ugh, I never should have started offering my repair services to human customers. Big, big mistake. I'll pick something up and they just wreck it again. No respect for their machine, right? No love. Hmm. Did you also break something, perhaps? Sorry, but I'm full up at the moment, aren't I? Can't take any new jobs till I work through this. Backlog, you see. Then I'll have to ask you to go, okay? I've got to gather the materials I need here, don't I? It's a full-time job cleaning up after the messes you humans make, you know. I mean, you probably see machines as convenient things you use up and throw away, yes? Uh, I don't know how to answer this. You typically think, like, maybe the average person does feel like machines are just utensils and uh don't really mean anything but i mean like some people don't want their stuff to break i mean they don't just like break it on purpose and then get a new one so i, I don't know maybe deny maybe they'll get points with him i don't know actually before i do that let me zoom out so we can see them see how they react to this so I think Lynn should like me denying this. She she had no opinion, are you kidding me? Then you're the exception, yes, but I agree that machines are more than mere tools. They've got a part of the soul of whoever built or maintains them inside them, you see, and they deserve to be handled with respect, don't they? Well, anyway, I've got to go stock up on materials to get these repairs done, don't I? I'm afraid I'm too busy to chat, so if you've got no business, uh, off you go, okay? Wait, you want to to help me? Is there an ulterior motive here? It's pity, yes? Hmm, I don't know what your angle is, but if you're offering, I'm agreeable. Alright. It's not easy though, yes. Even repairing a kitchen appliance can make trekking outside the city. Are you sure you still want to help gather materials? Really, really sure? Oh wait, what did I just accept? Oh no, not gathering mission. I wasn't thinking about it this whole time. Like he just, oh yeah, he just wants me to get some stuff for him, and then like it just hit me right now what I was getting myself into. Well, it's your call, but if you say you'll do it, I really need you to follow through though. Okay? These may just look like busted machines to you, but to my, to me, my patients are living creatures. You see, so please go find me some shiny new parts to patch this poor broken kitchen appliance up. All right, and I'll keep my expectations low, so so low. Okay, I need to gather five pieces of stripped plating from Pugliths in Oblivia. Okay, that's that's doable. Gather three quality fuses from Pugl... Okay, this is super easy. Whoops, I hit the mic. Oh, hey, look. 
There's a cave down here. What's actually down here? Ant's nest? Well, I probably shouldn't be screwing around because I have... Oh. Hey. Well, I'm not really going to deal with these guys right now. Though, for some reason, they're down there. And now I need to figure out how to get back up. It's going to take me forever, isn't it? Well, it looks like we're alright. It wasn't that big of a fall. I want to fight this 24 before I fight the 25, but... The 24 is next to other enemies. So I'm going to fight this one first. I should be fine because before, long before I died, I told her to build TP. So hopefully she comes pick me up and doesn't actually die. Okay, she should be picking me up right now. And uh, great, I got absolutely nothing. I broke, well, we broke everything on it, I think, almost. We broke its lasers, I think we might have broken his legs as well. To the, well we, bro we broke it to the point where all he could do was kick and got one cylinder. Great. We're going to be here for a while.
Hmm. Don't bother telling me. You couldn't find any strip plating or quality fuses, could you? Well, I wasn't really counting on it, on and on it, anyway, now. If you'd please, please leave me to my work. What? You went outside the city, yes? But your life at risk for this appliance? You're really not like all the other humans who 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 have used the their machines, are you? Hey Lynn finally appreciated that. Your eyes say you're telling the truth, don't they? Uh but no no no. I don't believe it. Ever since I've been here I've seen So ten Nasa? Have you finished the repairs on the two military vehicles I asked about? You mean the two vehicles the blades ruined? Yes. So so sorry, but I still don't have the the, the parts I need. Do it? Do I? So I haven't been able to work on them. The humans make do with their scant resources. Right? I don't hear them making excuses. Keep dragging your feet and I'll test my new inventions on out on just you like I did in, in, in the old days. I've got a flamethrower in the works, you know. Whoa, n no, please no. Uh, I can't find the oil somewhere, but Earth-made windshield glass is near impossible. I'm doing my best, okay? Okay, Lynn and Agalexa liked that. Uh, you'd really do that? Why all the help? This is my job, isn't it? There's no reason for you to go up, to go this far. Okay, only Lynn like that. You're the first person in the city to say that. I'm starting to think that I was too quick to judge you, your kind, perhaps. Maybe I was just cranky from being so so overworked. Yes, stress and all that. Heh. <laughs> Anyway, I appreciate it, okay? And while you're hunting down the parts, I'll fix this poor appliance. Great, more hunting down, though. The other parts were pretty easy. I don't have either of what he wants, though. Yeah, the one unit of honey oil from a copper sincula or others in Primordia. I don't know what that is, but there is a marker uh, put down. And gather windshield glass from a Primordia East Gate plane. Oh, from the Primordia's East Gate plane. Great, now I have to remember that there's a guy outside East Gate with a quest. That's just... That's just wonderful. I'm having to keep track of too many quests. I can't do all of them.
Okay, so now I have to figure out what a copper sincula sincula is. Which I'm, there's still a crab walking around here, so I need to make sure he doesn't see me. Hopefully it's a monster. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, so we're in the grieving plains, uh, and the whatever this sincula sincula things are like the giant insect things. I 
So, that took me a very, very, very long time to do. I've even had better fights than that, because it refused to drop that honey oil, and I, like, I didn't know what body part to break to get it to drop. I'm like, uh, because some parts don't unlock until you break other parts, and, like, I, will, I'm, I was sitting here for, like, an hour or so, Trying to figure out what part to shoot, what part, sequence parts to break to get it to drop honey. And I think that was just a random drop, because I think the honey is in underneath its horn. And then once you break its horn on top, which I didn't do in this fight, there's a yellow spot, which I assume that would be honey. And then you can target that again, and I assume if you break that, then it would drop. But the only way I found to get that was to break its maw, and then I think it's a thorax? And then a leg, maybe? And then the horn would be targetable? But then at that point, he's almost dead. So once you break the horn, you aren't able to break the honey spot because there's not enough damage. Uh, he doesn't have enough damage that he can take before he dies. And so I don't even remember what I did right now. I did uh, with the thorax and a couple of legs and then one of his spikes on his back not his horn, but like the tendril spike on the back, and somehow that got honey. I think that was just a coincidence, because I'd broken one of those tendril spikes before, and it didn't drop any honey. So yeah, also you probably noticed in that fight that I did not realize I had all these um, healing skills in my uh, arts that I unlocked, because I unlocked the... Uh, I unlocked the next class up, so... So I have Barrier, I got Party Heal, like this skill heals the entire party and gives us Evasion up. Uh, and there's a couple of other cool stuff that's down here too. Or oh, a couple of extra stuff that I've unlocked. Dispel, uh, removes a buff off the target, does damage. Aether Blast, does, wait, uh, no that's the old one, Never mind. that's the old one. There's a Gravity one that I'm, I'm missing. Uh... Gravity Blast, there we go. Deals gravity damage and inflicts topple, so I can actually inflict topple with this character now, if I wanted to. But all I really care about is the health stuff. So yeah, I can pretty much, like, really easily keep my uh, characters alive. With this class now. So yeah, that was great, but, I mean, it took me hours. I mean, I, I stopped recording and started recording a different video. Because, um, this is like, un I mean, this video here is a separate one from the first one. Though it's obviously all the same video. Because I, I don't like recording for too long, and I think it had hit 140-something minutes. So I was like, I don't know how long this is going to take. I've killed like 10 of these things at this point, and they haven't dropped any honey. So, I, uh, just stopped recording and booted up a new one fresh one. Luckily, this one's only been recording for 10 minutes. So, in total, it's only been... Oh, there's a new quest here. By the way. Okay, so that that's something that comes up later. Someone in my comments told me about something about Blue Wire, but that guy kind of just told me about... Uh, that, that has to do with the, um, a proper chopper quest. I've heard that appliance good as new, and returned the little guy to the owner, didn't I? 
She was a blade, you see. Badly injured. Couldn't cook a decent meal for herself without it. Good thing I got it early, no. Any luck with those materials yet? I need honey oil and windshield glass, remember? These things aren't easy to find, are they? Must have been lots and lots of trouble, right? I'm gonna be like, yeah. Because I had to kill so many of those copper... What, Sinicolas or whatever you want to call them. So many of those copper bugs. It's been so long. I don't know who liked that. I believe it's... Okay. But, but I still don't understand why you'd go through that just to help me. What's that? You feel responsibly coming because I'm fixing the, these things for a blade? Dang it. Fine, okay, I can see defeat. The reason my brother's working as a mechanic for you humans, and the reason I decided to start a repair stop shop here for that matter, it's because we knew that both our peoples could make it on this planet if we worked together, you know? I got so busy I lost sight of that, didn't I? So, so simple, but I still forgot. Well, I'm not about to get all gush gushy with thank yous, that's not the kind of, of, of Monon I am. So just shut up and take this, okay? Hmm. You're a blade, yes? Well, you all can bring the stuff you break here anytime you want. Alright, I'll fix it till I drop. Just promise you'll use it to keep us all safe, okay? Teamwork and all that. We're in this together. Right, you won't hear me whining like I'm the victim ever again, okay? So good luck out there, yes? I'll hold down the fort around here. Alright. So the quest down. Took way too long, actually. Yeah, it took way too freaking long. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. Tune in the next episode, like, share, comment, what to do. See ya.